Hey there, TV enthusiasts. Ever heard of the 1982 Gem Police Squad? If not, you're in for a treat. This underrated classic may have lasted only six episodes, but it left a lasting mark on the world of comedy. Created by the brilliant minds behind Airplane, the show follows the misadventures of Detective Frank Drebin as he tackles crime with a unique blend of absurdity and deadpan humor. You're in for a roller coaster of laughs, shocks, and even a touch of sadness. Who's your favorite character from the series? What makes this everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the unmatched comedic timing or the unforgettable characters? Drop your thoughts below. Before you go, share your most cherished memory or personal experience with the series. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic. Police Squad, the 1982 TV series, might have had a brief run with only six episodes, but its impact on popular culture is anything but fleeting. Helmed by the creative minds behind Airplane, this underrated classic carved its niche in the comedy landscape. The show's protagonist, Detective Frank Drebin, led audiences through a whirlwind of absurdity and deadpan humor, creating an enduring symbol in the industry. During its time, the series faced challenges in finding its audience, leading to its premature cancellation. However, this setback didn't diminish its long-term influence. The show showcased unmatched comedic timing and introduced unforgettable characters, leaving an indelible mark on the world of television. In the wake of cancellation, it experienced a resurrection through its legacy. The impact on popular culture was evident as it paved the way for spin-offs and adaptations, keeping the spirit alive. The character, with his deadpan delivery and chaotic investigations, became an iconic figure, resonating with audiences beyond the original airing. Its impact extended into merchandise, with the show becoming a recognizable brand. Fans could now take home a piece of the series through various products, solidifying its place in the hearts of enthusiasts. The adaptation into different mediums showcased its versatile appeal and the enduring popularity of its unique brand of humor. In retrospect, it stands as a testament to the unpredictability of the entertainment industry. Despite its short-lived initial run, the series became a cult classic, influencing the comedic landscape for years to come. The legacy endures not just in its episodes, but in the laughter and nostalgia it continues to evoke. In conclusion, the impact and legacy go beyond its six episodes, reaching into the fabric of popular culture. Through memorable characters, spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations, the show left an enduring imprint, reminding us that greatness can emerge from even the briefest moments in television history. In 1982, Police Squad, the TV series, left an indelible mark on the comedy landscape, influencing subsequent TV shows, movies, and media. Despite its brief run of only six episodes, the show's impact endured, primarily due to its unique blend of absurdity and deadpan humor, a trademark of the creative minds behind Airplane. During its initial airing, the show faced challenges in finding its audience, leading to its premature cancellation. However, this did not dampen its long-term influence. Detective Frank Drebin, with his deadpan delivery and chaotic investigations, became an iconic figure resonating with audiences far beyond the original airings. His quirky escapades influenced a generation of comedic characters in the years that followed. Comparing Police Squad to other shows of its era reveals its distinctiveness. While some aimed for straightforward humor or dramatic storytelling, the series carved its niche with irreverent and unexpected comedic timing. Similar shows may have existed, but none quite captured the same chaotic charm that endeared it to fans. The impact extended beyond the realm of television into merchandise, transforming the show into a recognizable brand. Fans could bring home a piece of the series, further solidifying its place in the hearts of enthusiasts. This adaptation into various mediums showcased the versatility and enduring popularity of its unique brand of humor. In the wake of its cancellation, the show experienced a resurrection through its legacy. The impact on popular culture paved the way for spin-offs and adaptations that kept the spirit alive. The laughter and nostalgia it continues to evoke stand as a testament to its unexpected journey from initial setback to enduring cult classic. In conclusion, Police Squad stands as more than a mere TV series. It is a cultural touchstone that, despite its brief initial run, continues to influence the comedic landscape. 
Through memorable characters, spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations, the legacy remains vibrant and captivating, proving that greatness can emerge from even the most fleeting moments in television history. In its brief run, the TV series faced an interesting fate when ABC reran it post-cancellation. The humor-packed introduction featuring Rex Hamilton as Abraham Lincoln saw an edit, cutting out a notable joke. This snippet, showcasing the unpredictable nature of the industry, underscores the challenges it initially encountered in finding its audience. Leslie Nielsen, embodying the iconic detective Frank Drebin, transcended the show into the 1990s. He reprised the character in Red Rock Draft Cider TV ads, cleverly parodying the very essence of the series. The interplay of comedy and commercialism with Nielsen as the deadpan face of the ads added another layer to the legacy. An intriguing tidbit from Pat Proft reveals a potential direction for the series had it secured a second season. The opening credits where Abraham Lincoln faces a pistol would have taken a unique turn. Imagine Mohanda's K. Gandhi retaliating with a machine gun instead. This unrealized joke later found its place in a fake trailer for Gandhi 2 in the movie UHF. The alternate possibilities hint at the creativity that could have unfolded with more screen time. The show's influence expanded beyond the TV screen when cancellation loomed. Leslie Nielsen's portrayal of Frank Drebin became the focal point of Red Rock Draft Cider ads in the 1990s, presenting a blend of parody and commercial success. Pat Proff's revelation about a potential second season adds a layer of what-ifs to its narrative, showcasing the untapped creativity that could have unfolded. The unpredictability of its journey, marked by edits and unexplored jokes, adds an intriguing layer to the legacy. Police Squad delivered quirky humor through unique elements, making it a standout in the 1982 television landscape. In a clever recurring joke, Detective Frank Drebin ran over a set of objects matching the episode number, a humorous touch that added a distinctive layer to each installment. This gag, however, skipped the fifth and sixth episodes, showcasing the show's ability to surprise even within its own established comedic patterns. The show's theme song, opening credits, and the character of Lieutenant Frank Drebin were satirical nods to M Squad, where Lee Marvin portrayed Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. This playful homage to another detective series added a layer of intertextuality, inviting viewers to appreciate the comedic parallels between the two shows. An interesting footnote in the series' history involves John Belushi's cameo for Episode 6, Testimony of Evil. Sadly, he passed away before the episode aired, prompting a reshoot with William Conrad. Belushi's underwater appearance, wearing cement shoes, became a peculiar moment in the show's production, underlining the unpredictability that often accompanies television production. The show's influence expanded beyond its short-lived episodes. Leslie Nielsen, embodying Detective Frank Drebin, continued to resonate in the 1990s through Red Rock Draft Cider TV ads. This unique blend of parody and commercialism showcased Nielsen's deadpan humor, adding another layer to Police Squad's enduring legacy. An intriguing revelation by Pat Proft hinted at unexplored possibilities for the series. Had it secured a second season, the opening credits featuring Abraham Lincoln might have taken a surprising turn with Mohanda's K. Gandhi retaliating with a machine gun. This unrealized concept later found its place in a fake trailer for Gandhi 2 in the movie UHF, offering a glimpse into the untapped creativity that could have unfolded with more screen time. Police Squad may have been short-lived, but its impact reverberated through unexpected edits, reshoots, and unrealized jokes. Its ability to infuse humor into the unexpected and its influence on popular culture continue to make it a fascinating chapter in television history.